Hello everyone. There, there's no reason for the video today. We're gonna try to knit using a computer charging cord. Just, I found it in while well, looking for something else. And it's like, you know what? I could knit with that. Cause I mean, it looks like a set of circular knitting needles in a way. It's the important thing is making sure that this doesn't get caught on the yarn. So we're just gonna whoop. And we'll just cast on some stitches, see how it goes. I guess the stitches are going to have to be pretty loose if they're going to get over this outlet. That's not the outlet, that's a plug. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's four o'clock in the morning. Can't you tell? I mean, theoretically, four o'clock in the morning for me is like four o'clock in the afternoon for other people, but still. It's usually by that point in the night where I start getting a little bit too nonsensical. Mm -hmm. I imagine it's going to be harder to knit with this end than with this end, despite the fact that there's like an obstacle on the actual wire itself, but that's because there's only like one stick here and like three sticks here. And if we know anything from, like, what's it called? The cane video. That, I was thinking, like, the cane video. It's like, was it the darts? No, it's the cane video where it's easier to knit with one awkwardly shaped knob than it is with three points. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. We're going to put on eleven because I've learned from previous videos that I'm probably going to drop this. So let's prepare for that, shall we? All right. Knit with the part that actually goes in the computer from the part that comes out from the wall. Okay. Oh, that part's not tightening up. There we go. Oh, do I want it to be too tight? Probably don't want it to be that tight. There we go.
Yep. There you go. Oh. You see what I ended up doing here? So I made this like nice and tight. But this stitch isn't going to be able to go over that. <laughs> Which, if I was making something much longer, would be very, very bad. <laughs> but because I'm only doing something that's like 10 stitches long, it's not that big of a deal. But since... Like, it's... Would it be able to? Yeah, it would be able to, but it's going to force this to get smaller as it goes along. And obviously that's the one right next to it. And then you'd be like pulling it and pulling it. And obviously it's not ideal, right? But yeah, the, it's contained in this little two inch segment of the cord. When the whole point of having it all connected like this was if I wanted to make like a 500 stitch monstrosity tube, um, I could connect it all. Although trying to knit around this would be hilarious, honestly. It would be hilarious, wouldn't it? There we go. And then we have one more look at how much extra yarn came apart. There we go. Oop, we're not going to knit that last stitch. Is there a way that I can like pull that like one loop? Oh, how did that happen? The whole point was to get like I think I just lost a stitch, yeah. And I have another like slip knot here. So do I now have like nine stitches? I have eight. How did that happen? Huh. know that how that happened but anyway we're going to try well first we are going to separate this in a way that I can tell the yarn and from the yarn feeding string so I don't accidentally knit the tube because otherwise it'd be like I ran out of yarn why did I run out of yarn oh yeah I mean I've been knitting for nearly 20 years I should know that by now The amount of time that I've been knitting is legally an adult. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's try to knit with the plug. I guess it goes like this. Okay. Comes off like that. Oh. Ooh. Well, one, it barely made it around. Okay. So you can see it's an old charging cord because it's like bent right there. And with that last stitch, the yarn was getting caught in that. And it's like, no, that's not where I need you to get caught. So we got the stitch over. Like, it seems like a nice place for you to rest, but it is not. <laughs> Ah. 
somehow this is coming off much better than I was expecting it to, considering how tightly that last row was. It's not like squeal against your knitting needle tight, but it's still pretty tight. There we have it. That was two rows of the computer charging cord. I mean, it's possible. It's not the prettiest thing. It didn't turn out too bad though. It's kind of like the effect of, um, there's a particular knitting stitch. It kind of looks like, it's made to look like the ocean waves. And the way that you do it is you knit the row across. Or maybe it's crochet, I don't know. But then like you take a knitting needle and then maybe it's a, I think it's a crochet stitch actually. You crochet this, you crochet the chain across and then you go with the knitting needle and you pull up loops through each crochet stitch. And then you go back in the same direction, but then you like grasp five of them at a time. So you get like this wavy look. That's, that's kind of what, what this is reminding me of. I mean, not something I would attend, like if I was intentionally going for, I would go for the stitches with like the crochet hook and the yarn needle and not with an outlet, but hey. It works. But uh, now that I brought up, it'd be hilarious to try to knit that other way. Now I have to try it. It's literally so low stakes that it'd be pointless to not try it, you know? So let's just wind the yarn ball back up so we back where we started. Yeah, if you're wondering like what happened to all these knitting samples that I make, most of them don't stick around. This skein has to go through the Scythian task of uh, let's do the knit stitch again and again. So we're actually going to open up the charger from here. <laughs> this comes undone. So now they're two separate things, but we now working with, I think this is the adapter and the plug in which you put in the adapter. This should be interesting. We have curved end and robot dick. Okay, I didn't need to go that far. Uh, which end are we gonna start with? We're gonna start with the big white adapter here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. So the stitches are literally like several uh, inches long. We're going to see how well this goes. Okay. Quite the awkward angle. Ah! Really lost.
lost my stitch here. Let's try this again. In. That's the yarn tail. Okay. We're going to keep this nice and loose. <laughs> we are going to resist the instinct to tighten this up. So I can do the next row. No, don't tighten. You know, when I saw that sentence in my mind, I was thinking Titan like the word Titan, but then I pronounced it like Saturn's moon Titan, you know, and honestly, you shouldn't Titan either because Titan is the Roman name for the Greek god, for the Greek god Kronos. Which is the god who was afraid of his sons overthrowing him. So he decided to eat all his kids. And it ultimately became a self-fulfilling prophecy because he ticked off his wife who went like, Okay, I'm going to hide my, one, my youngest son so you can't eat him. And that was Zeus. And, uh... Then Zeus ultimately overthrew his father to become a sexual predator. But, uh, yeah. Aren't you glad that uh, I have an education? I can tell you about Greek mythology. Like, I learned a lot of things when I was being educated, and somehow Greek mythology stuck around. <laughs> Okay, that's the end. Ooh. All right. I don't know why, but in this format, this thing kind of reminds me of like the tubes from um, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang when you're introduced to the spies and the bear's like, where are my spies? And you see the, like these little tubes like come forward. <sighs> kind of reminds me of that. Also, I really, really loved JJ Bang Bang when I was younger. There are certain ideas from JJ Bang Bang now that I'm not crazy about that I absorbed. But uh, overall, it's still a classic movie. We're all dolls saved JJ Bang Bang because the book for JJ Bang Bang was terrible, but the movie is nostalgic gold. Okay. Look at this mess. <laughs> Um, I can kind of see the stitches, just kind of, kind of, but are we, we going to try again? All right. We're going to go the other way, see what row two looks like. Oh. This time using the adapter as the needle. This one we can make a little bit tighter because the adapter is going to be the widest part. Of the stitch or is that part of a different stitch? I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, that was a stitch. I think I just dropped a stitch. Maybe, maybe not. 
Bah! Did I, did I lose a stitch? Or I forgot to cast on another stitch. That's entirely possible. Okay. So somehow I lost a stitch. I don't know how I lost that stitch. Okay, so if you're going to knit with a computer charging cord, you are much better off knitting with the plug and the, like, with the two plugs than you are with the adapter plug and the adapter, because this is a nightmarish mess. I mean, look at this. This is terrible. This is nightmare fuel. Okay. Like, if you're learning how to knit, and you end up with this. You're tearing off and it's like, let's try this again. Because I can do better than this. But I really don't have anyone to blame on but myself. Because this is not what computer adapters were made for. They were made for carrying electricity to your laptop so your laptop can work. If I do this, I'm definitely using this end again and not this end. But uh, that was today's entertainment. Thank you for indulging me in this uh, episode of stupidity. And have a nice day.